everybody, Sven Diesel here with Sportsman's Warehouse. We're going to be tying up the mop fly. This is a very controversial fly, but it is straight effective. It has caught trout and bass for me. Here it is. This is a mop material. It comes in a bunch of different colors. Uh, my favorites are actually included in this pack. I like tan, cream, and uh, gray. Those seem to have worked well. Also chartreuse. We're using a, a TMC... Uh, 2487 this is a size 10 uh, I usually nymph 14s uh, and so you want to step it up just a little bit and so I'm also going with a heavier tungsten bead this is a four millimeter it barely fits on and we're going to use a, a 70 denier thread in red and the red or orange or pink are my go-to's for this for a collar and of course the secret material is the shrimp pink eye stub this is a super effective color uh, color when uh, used as a collar for nymphing and we got the bead on there it's already in the vise we've got our hook in the vise it's secure we're going to go ahead and start our thread right here behind the bead work our way down the shank and this is simply to give something for this mop to grip to we're going to be applying a little bit of glue we're going to be applying a little bit of um, uh, wraps to the the core of it so once you get your thread on a nice base there then all you got to do is pick out your favorite color of mop and then we just need to size it to the hook here so I'm going to grab out <clears throat> this is my ultimate favorite it's kind of a tan looks just like larva in my opinion and so you can see if I tied it in as is it's it's pretty long I've seen some guys fish them really long I like to size it so it's about the length of a, an equal tail if I was doing like a pheasant tail nymph or something like that and so I'm going to measure it and then I'll just preen away some of this uh, excess fluff so that I can expose the core. You can see right there we're starting to get into the cords. So I'm just going to measure it again and that looks pretty good. Since this is for a video I'm going to take a little bit more off just so um, the tail is roughly about the length of our, uh, our shank of our hook here and so we'll size that up that looks good and so the trick here is I've seen guys stab it I've seen uh, guys just simply glue it on I like to do both and so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this Z cement or super glue and I'm gonna apply a generous amount now you gotta be careful when you're doing this because as soon as you put that mop down it's gonna to wanna to stick to your fingers and to the super glue and so you wanna just kinda of pinch it over the top do a couple wraps on that core let it sit and then grip the mop again and push it down and then of course do some in front and behind wraps on this uh, the core of this and we'll just secure that and that looks pretty good it's durable it's on there and it's going to catch fish you could probably fish it just like this but let's trim the the core of that mop out and then I'll do a few more cleaning up wraps here at this point you can see our, our red underbody that's kind of a little I don't know if that's a trick but that's something that I think uh, gives me a little bit more confidence in this fly and that's why changing the color sometimes helps with that and so we'll just check it looks pretty good um, we've got our nice body and so now is the collar and we're just going to be using that UV shrimp I've uh, tried a few different colors but this seems to be the best I've also had good luck with pearl eye stub um, and also some of the uh, the, the golden olives and, and colors similar to this one so we're just going to dub a really really thin noodle on there making sure it's nice and tight because we need to build up a little bit of a transition from the mop to the the bead um, as you can see it's a pretty large step right now and uh, I want it to look as smooth as possible this uh, mop is not going to shrink in the water it's pretty much going to stay almost the exact same but it flows and it wiggles just magically it looks like larva and so we'll just create a little bit of a, a dubbing collar right there uh, making sure it's nice and secure I want it to be a little bit more and so I'll put a little bit more dubbing on it's kind of a touch and go kind of feel as you're doing this uh, you can always add a little bit more it's harder to take away uh, once you've started your loop or dubbing this on uh, to to your thread calling it a noodle but we can see it's a little bit uh, thicker there and that's just about how I want it right there and we'll go ahead and pull a lot of that ice stub back so it's out of our way and then we're going to do a little bit of a red collar here just about four to five turns and that is pretty much the fly so let's go ahead and we will whip finish this fly and you just need to do a three turn whip finish 
Um, we're going to be using some uh, UV resin or you could use some head cement to finish this off. So I'm just going to go one, two, three, and bam, we're golden. If you really want, you can brush out that collar, but I found I just fish it like this and eventually it uh, gets a little bit more buggy or messy. And so the last step here is I want to take some of this uh, thin resin and I'm just going to apply a little dab here on top and then spread that out around to the sides. It's covering my thread and it's ble blending into the eye stub just a little bit to help um, secure that and make it a little bit more durable. And then I'll put a little bit of resin right here over the red thread just to kind of as an added durability, extra security here to make this even uh, uh, more durable and, and effective. So um, go ahead and uh, use your UV light and uh, you want to cure that for about 10 to 15 seconds uh, being careful. Uh, not to look into the light and uh, uh, I'm struggling to find mine but I think it's right here and so we'll just uh, go ahead and cure that up rotating it around giving it even curing over the entire fly and that way um, you know it's a uh, just gonna be rock solid and that is a super simple super effective pattern um, you could tie it up on a jig hook and, and Euro nymph it um, the chenille uh, mop fly material comes in a bunch of different colors. I stub a bunch of different colors. Um, the only way you can uh, test it is to tie some up and fish them yourself. So thanks for watching, and I hope you uh, catch some fish with it.